We're shooting this video. This is an actual case study of a job. We performed a leak detection on this residential pool years ago. And after we performed the leak detection, part of uh, our structural repair, we found leaks in the structure. There were a bunch of structural cracks going on in this pool. And part of that process is, is uh, when we do torque lock repairs, is to drain the pool and to mist and map the pool. But in this case, we, we recommended that we do that. So after we drain this pool and take a couple of looks at some of the pics of the structural cracks that had been previously repaired, um, we had quoted how many linear foot it was going to actually take, and they decided against doing this. So they paid us for the leak detection. They paid us to mist and map the pool. And then they decided, no, we're not going to do this job. Well, guess what? They sold the house. And they sold the house to a couple that went out and did a major renovation to this, to this pool. And guess what? We were called out right after that major renovation was pool was filled at right after they filled the pool. So we come back out and I just want everybody to see that there's a Google earth that we took a shot, um, a, a, a screenshot of from the Google earth. And when we did this original leak inspection, leak detection, we have all our records. We have all our reports. So we knew when we had this address what we were going back out to. But we didn't know for sure what we would be up against because, again, people do things. Well, guess what? They added a spa to this structurally compromised pool. And that's the worst thing you could do. That's crack repair 101 is, is don't start drilling into a structure. Don't start adding weight to a structure or the design of a structure that is structurally compromised. It's a bad idea. And not only did they add a spot to it, but look at what they did. They cut out wide swatches of wall. And what I preach and as far as structural crack repair goes is, is if you're going to staple it, leave it alone. Don't cut a section wide out. Why? What happens? When you cut a wide section, you have two cold joints at that point. And that's exactly what you see from this picture right here is the pool recracked in two spots where they cut it wide. So... The moral to this story is, is don't add a spa water feature or anything to a structurally compromised pool, spa or fountain for that matter. And the second part is, is don't repair structural cracks by cutting wide. Install torque lock staples. And again, that's probably the best repair solution that you had with this pool going forward. I would have never added to it. I would have never done some of the things that they did. So now these people put a lot of money into they did a bond beam. They did all these other repairs to this pool, which this pool is totally gone. This pool needs to be totally chipped out, removed, and replaced. So learn from other people's mistakes. Try not to learn. Try not to make those mistakes yourself. For more information, visit leaktronics.com and always check out our YouTube channel.